New Year to the members of the 102nd Intelligence Wing. I'm Colonel Wendy Armijo, Commander of the 202nd Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance Group, and I'm happy to deliver your first command message of the new year. This first month of 2023, I'd like to talk about New Year's resolutions, setting goals for the coming year, resolving to change bad habits, and discovering a renewed optimism for the year ahead. First, I'll share with you a little history. January was named for the two-faced Roman god Janus. Janus has one face that looks forward for new beginnings and the other that looks backward for reflection and resolution. The Romans would offer sacrifices to Janus and make promises of good behavior for the year ahead. Fast forward, a Boston newspaper from 1813 featured the first recorded use of the phrase New Year's resolution. That newspaper article states, and yet, I believe there are multitudes of people accustomed to receive injunctions of New Year's resolutions who will sin all the month of December with a serious determination of beginning the new year with new resolutions and new behavior and with the full belief that they shall thus expiate and wipe away all their former faults. This article sounds a little dramatic regarding sin at the end of the year and a bit sarcastic about the mindset of those who make New Year's resolutions. But actually, more people succeed at New Year's resolutions than you might think. A poll of over a thousand adults found that 68% of them who'd made a resolution kept it. If you're one to make resolutions every year, or if you're making one for the first time this year, consider these tips to help you be successful in keeping them. First, keep it simple. Settle on one or two goals, not a big list that might be overwhelming, daunting, or unrealistic. Secondly, frame your resolution positively. For example, say, I want to get more exercise rather than I'll stop being so lazy. Third, define a goal that's specific and measurable. Instead of using generalities such as I want to be a better supervisor, resolve to step out on specific traits that make a good one whether it's more frequent check-ins with airmen, better documentation of training records, or more measured feedback to those under you, define a goal that is time-bound and realistic. Plan for a month at a time, not a lifetime. If you want to save more money, set an amount, put a little bit away each month, month, then check after a few months to see your progress. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Create an incentive. If your goal is to increase last year's score on your PT test, decide how you will reward yourself once you achieve it. I suggest cake or french fries. Change up your routine. If your 2022 plan of working out at the end of the duty day frequently fell apart, consider setting your alarm to work out in the morning or make it a lunchtime routine. Finally, pick a goal that will truly make you feel better, not just something that others think you should do. And if you slip up, don't be too hard on yourself. Just work to get back on track. The point is to make a positive change, and any little bit counts. In the spirit of setting goals, soon Colonel Riley will officially publish the 2023 wing goals. Each wing goal is designed to further the mission, improve readiness, better manage resources, and increase quality of life for the warriors of the 102nd Intelligence Wing. I know each organization will set their own goals for readiness and mission accomplishment. Just like the Roman god Janus, we in the 202nd ISRG are in the process of reviewing past year's goals, giving ourselves a pat on the back for the things we've accomplished, and we're developing new goals for 2023. Among those accomplishments were when the 202nd ISS and the 267 conducted a deployed field training and validated their readiness. We increased our access to industry forums to gain exposure to the latest technolog technological solutions, and we expanded our internal exercise to include other cyber ISR units from Tennessee and Maryland, which resulted in shared operational and training best practices across the enterprise. In 2023, we look forward to moving our cyber SIGINT operations out of the temporary skiff in the hangar and into our newly accredited secure area in Building 165. Last year, we moved all unclassified and administrative functions, and when it's ready, we look forward to conducting operations out of the new building from two separate operations floors 
with almost 100 workstations, plus a fantastic training suite situated to improve readiness and train airmen for the high-end fight. This will allow the 203rd and the 267th intelligence squadrons to simultaneously and more efficiently provide their respective mission partners with actionable intelligence in the cyber domain. It's also through the hard work and truly astonishing expertise of the cyber, cyber and intelligence professionals of the 202nd Intelligence Support Squadron that the finish line is well within our sights. In the 202nd, we aim in the coming year to take our warfighting capability to the next level. We plan to maximize our recruiting and retention initiatives to set our group-wide manning to over 90%. We continue to review our mission essential taskings in order to focus training and readiness. We want to define a continuity of operations plan that's fortified with host unit agreements, and we will conduct mentorship and leadership sessions for more deliberate professional development. Finally, I encourage all of you to make self-improvement and unit improvement part of your New Year's resolutions. Thanks for all you do, and I wish you a happy and productive 2023.